Greetings all, and welcome to Dual Wielders Writing Debugging, where I'll break down writing tips and tactics into bite-sized chunks to help you improve your own writing. Death. Of the author. It's not as macabre as it sounds, but what is it? Well, to put it simply, it means that once a work is put out where the public can consume it, the author can't do anything else to it. What's there, is there. But Death of the Author has a few parts to it. One means that nothing about the author should factor into what's been produced. Their nationality, ethnicity, political leanings, none of it is relevant to the work. This aspect has similarities to separating the art from the artist. You don't necessarily have to like the person for them to have made something good. You can read about actors telling horror stories galore about some of the best directors out there, who were extremely harsh on them. While the creator of something may be an amazing person, a monstrosity, or anywhere in between, the art exists outside of them once it's been created. Then there's the aspect that anyone's interpretation of the work is equally as valid as the author's. Now, you'll always have those that draw some incredibly off-the-wall meaning or interpretation of things, but the author can't dictate how people will interact with their work. This should be a lesson to anyone looking to create a story, no matter the medium. Once your work is out there, you can't change it. You can't just put out a tweet to fix a mistake, or have an interview to explain something that wasn't clear. You need to take the time to ensure that what you're crafting is everything that you intend it to be. Jackie Chan has stated that he'll do as many takes as needed to make absolutely sure that each shot comes out exactly as he wanted it. This applies to all forms of storytelling. If you forget to explain something that the audience will need to understand what's happening in a movie, are you going to go to every theater to explain that to them? Obviously, you can't. If you're writing a novel, and you didn't clearly convey what was happening in a given moment, your readers will be confused, and now that it's out there, there's nothing that can magically correct the text. A good example with this would be J.K. Rowling in the Harry Potter series. Whether you approve or disapprove of her is not relevant to this topic, but she's tried to insert numerous pieces of information to her novels after they've been written. She's stated that Slughorn led Slytherin reinforcements during the Battle of Hogwarts. But that is nowhere to be found within the pages. If it doesn't exist within the work, then it can't be considered canon, at least not really. Media that exists outside of the installments themselves, especially if it alters content in the original work, would require individuals to find this information elsewhere, and thus many will be unaware of it. Again, because it isn't there in the source material. But the biggest of these breaches of death of the author comes in the form of Severus Snape. Rowling has insisted numerous times that Snape is a hero, and has objected to those who don't agree with this. The problem here is that Snape is in no way a hero. A hero does good for selfless reasons, without thought of what they can get out of it. Snape was always selfish to the extreme. Snape willingly joined Voldemort. He was fine with all sorts of terrible things happening to innocent people until the woman he had a thing for was threatened. He tormented children for his entire teaching career to the point where several actively feared him. Snape was not a hero, and Rowling's insistence on him being one goes against death of the author. If she wanted to depict him as a hero, then his actions should have reflected this. The movies toned this down, but he was certainly not even a good person. Then there's also the point that she has claimed that Slytherins are not inherently evil. This sentiment is never backed up in the books, though. We never see Slytherins acting out of altruism or selflessness. At most, we get lukewarm ones like Slughorn, but we never see any acting alongside the main cast willingly. Even characters in the books wonder why Slytherins aren't expelled the moment they're sorted into the house. Again, I am not attacking J.K. Rowling, nor am I insulting her work. This is just an observation of how these instances violate the concept of death of the author. So to sum it all up, when you're making a story or a script, make absolutely sure that what you want to portray is actively shown in the piece, because once it's out there, 
you no longer have input over it. I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you found this video entertaining or informative, then feel free to leave a like if you're so inclined, and subscribe to see more, and may you all have a weapon in each hand.